Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say for a brand new day. Well, we are here by the grace of God. I've actually been here a few minutes. Um, my train just pulled in. I was scrolling through Facebook posts this morning. <gasps> So I only have a couple of minutes here, which is probably fine with y'all. I give God the glory again. You say, for what? For this brand new day. Because, beloved, guess what? It did not have to be this way. Not only did God watch over us last night, beloved, but early this morning, as my daddy used to say, he touched us with his finger of love. And for that, beloved, we have a reason to be grateful. Amen. So I thank the Lord God for this day. Um, not too many thoughts going around through my head and all of that this morning, but there were some crazy ones that I was like, girl, focus, focus, focus. Okay. So we are here. Uh, God is great. I say that I was as I was parking a car, a song came on the radio and it said great. And it said, our God is a great God. I think that's what it said. I, I don't think I've ever heard it before. Uh, the song that is. And beloved, we do serve a great God. We serve a mighty good God, okay? So the song that kind of rested in my spirit as I was parking, uh, there was a song. It's an old song, maybe from the late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. And it was sang by Amy Grant. I don't know if she wrote it or not. But it says that I may not be every mother's dream for her little girl. And my face may not grace the minds of everyone in the world. But that's all right, as long as I can have one wish I pray. When people look inside my life, I want to hear them say, she's got her father's eyes. Eyes that find the good in things when good is not around. Eyes that find the source of help when help could not be found. Eyes full of compassion, feeling every pain, knowing what you're going through, and feeling it the same, just like my father's eyes, something like that. Beloved, and I recall this morning that there was a time that was my theme song. And the song is still near and dear to my heart. And you know, I think I'm going to make that my theme song again. My father's eyes. So I pray that as we go throughout this day, that we have the eyes to see like our heavenly father. the God who never changes, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob, the one and true living God, our Heavenly Father, that we will be blessed to see as he sees, that we will be blessed to do and maneuver as he would. Y'all remember that saying about 10, 15, 20 years ago, WWJD, what would Jesus do? My prayer on this morning is, Father, give me your eyes. Let me see the way in which you want me to see. Remove the blindness from my eyes. Remove the dull from my ears. Remember what we talked about a couple months back? He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear. He that hath an ear to hear. The kingdom of God is likened to this, that, or the other. All right. We serve a great God. Yes, we do. That's where I am this morning. Lord, give me your eyes. I want to see as you would have me to see. I want to do as you would have me to do. I want to go as you would have me to go. You know, I'm about to say, let me get out of this car. My train not long pulled in. Make my way over there all the way to track number one. I'm going to get in that train. Sit down in my seat, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to sit down on that train. Make my way into downtown L.A. From the Union Station, I'm going to hop on that red line. From that red line, I'm going to go to my stop. And then I'm going to walk up all those stairs. I'm going to go inside of that building. And then I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on tomorrow. From where? From my front seat. This your girl, Sharon. Not much, much, much to say today, but I pray that I said enough. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.